Hello and welcome back. My name is Gaurav and welcome to the Engineer YouTuber. Uh, this is my YouTube channel and today we are going to learn how to integrate Ola Map API using Python. And those are the four steps you're going to follow. And we let's let's start with first first one. Uh, obtain the API. So if you know what is API, API is Application Programming Interface. So basically, up the uh, uh, restaurant mein jate, so you can see there is a एक पर्सन आता है जो ऑर्डर लेता है वेटर तो वेटर इज नथिंग बट वो एक मीडिएटर है जो फूड लाने का काम करता है शेप से शेप फूड बनाता है या जो फूड बनाता है वहाँ पे वो फूड लाने का और हमारे ऑर्डर लेने का काम जो करता है वो है तो उसे मीडिएटर बोलते हैं लाइक वाइज ए वही काम करता है एक वेबसाइट पे से कुछ डेटा चाहिए तो स्पेसिफिक डेटा निकालने के लिए या स्पेसिफिक चीज हमें चाहिए तो उसके लिए हम ए से रिक्वेस्ट करते हैं दैट Uh, वो हमें निकाल के देता है लाइक वाइज सो रिसेंटली ओला मैप ओला ने अपना खुद का मैप बिल्ड किया एंड दे 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 हैव गिवन टू अस लाइक अ फ्री फॉर ओवन ईयर तो हम उसे एक्सेस करती है बाई एक्सेस कर सकते हैं बाई यूजिंग द ए पी आई सो उसके लिए हमें चाहिए ए पी आई की एंड द आई डी फॉर दैट सो देर आर सम स्टेप्स वी नीड टू फॉलो दैट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू नीड टू गो ऑन द वेबसाइट मैप डॉट ओला कृत्रिम डॉट कॉम Uh, so once you went to that website, you just need to go to the authentication. आप जब authentication authentication में आ गए तो you need to follow the uh, five steps over there. So first one is you need to go on uh, Ola, uh, navigate to the Ola Map uh, developer portal. So जैसे ही developer portal पे जाते हो, so if you click on this, you need to sign as uh, uh, sign in. तो sign in करने के बाद if you have already signed in, sign in. तो so you don't need to uh, again uh, do the signing process over there. If you haven't, you you need to uh, fill the form and then Uh, you get the credential and you you activate uh, you just very uh, you need to verify the your account and it will uh, on so once you log in you need to go on the navigation page in navigation page go to the project section so once you went to the pro project section you need to create a new project click on the new uh, new project button and you can just give give the uh, uh, your project name and the description if you want to add some description over there uh, it will better to understand uh, if you have multiple projects you you need to add the description so it will be segregated and uh, hit the create button so once you uh, hit the create button projects will uh, there there will be list of projects so if you have created multiple projects it will have the multiple projects uh, i have created one project so i have only one project over there so likewise now uh, you need to create a projects and then after that you need to click here in this box once you click on this uh, and link subscription it it will link uh, the project and once it linked then you get the your uh, credential for your account and uh, don't share your credential with anyone because it's secret and only you can use that you should use that because the reason is uh, if uh, this is a free account if in case uh, there is a uh, chat gpt is uh, kpi or key over there and you have share with someone then he misuse uh, you, you may have to pay for that okay so never share your api key with anyone and then uh, you got the uh, client id and the uh, secret over there so what we need we need a key and the client id this is a de uh, demo id and uh, means it is not going to uh, if you use this key or id it will not work you need to create your account and you need to get your credential for that so first step we have completed if you go and we'll just tick over here so we have completed the first step now the second step is set up your python environment first first of all whatever the aap koi bhi id use karte jaise ki main yahan pe vs code use kar raha hu you may using a spider or jupyter notebook or google colab whatever you are using you need to create a, a, a python environment for that you need to uh, do some step for uh, here i have already done that and i'm not going to show how to create a environment with python so you need to create your python environment and then start doing the programming you So, so if you are, if you uh, if you don't know how to create a environment, just go and watch uh, YouTube video. It it will be for uh, like two minutes only. So create your environment. Second step, then install uh, require library. So we'll do. So actually, uh, this is the Ola Maps. Uh, this is the uh, library, or this is the Python wrap wrapper for uh, Ola Map API. And there are uh, API supported are auto complete, uh, geo uh, geo coding. रिजर्व कोडिंग एंड डायरेक्शन दो आर दी सपोर्टेड बाय दिस रैपर सो इसमें कुछ डिफरेंसेस है जो कि आपको देखना पड़ेगा इफ यू वेंट टू द वेबसाइट एंड इफ यू चेक की ऑटो कम्प्लीट ए पी आई में क्या है क्या 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 कर सकते हो तो यूल इट नो की बाय ऑटो ऑटो कम्प्लीट ए पी आई एंड वॉट हाउ कैन बी यूज एंड दो थिंग्स यूल गेट बट वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू यूज द जियो इन जियो इन कोडिंग ए पी आई इन अवर प्रोग्राम सो आफ्टर दैट दिस इज 
uh, you need to install this package pip install ola maps because uh, by using that um, library uh, only we can uh, communicate with ola uh, ola maps okay so and you need your api key in id uh, as i earlier mentioned so we have completed the third step also so we'll uh, move to the fourth step write a python code so i have already written a code and i'm going to explain all the steps what i have done and i'm going to show uh, i have created a flask api so that uh, that flask api what it does uh, it uses the uh, ola map api and it create a flask so in the flask you put the source and destination and it calculate the distance between that uh, that uh, uh, two location so this is what i have created for that i'll, uh, I'll come to this part called VS code. VS code may I have created a app.py and this is my Ola is my uh, uh, di directory name. Uh, this is app.py. This is key. I have stored keys here. So uh, not everyone can see that. And this is a requirement of txt. In templates, I have created one HTML page that I'm going to show and how it render over there. And I'm going to show a simple uh, HTML page I have created for that. So from Flask, we have taken the Flask request and render template, then imported the request and uh, from from uh, importing the keys which I have stored for there. So and we have used a GeoPy. Uh, what is GeoPy? I'm going to explain. GeoPy is a Python module. It is one of the library that allow to look uh, allow you to locate the coordinate of address, cities, countries, and landmark using the various um, geo coder and data source. So basically, if I um, give the uh, longitude and latitude, uh, it will uh, give me the, the the location name, the location address, or the country, or even uh, the dis uh, the basically, uh, we can use this GeoPy, uh, GeoPy to calculate distance and all those things. Ki mujhe iska address chahiye. For a specific address, I can use the GeoPy also. Okay, but by using a coordinate, not directly. So after that, we have uh, created an app like using a Flask, and uh, then I have uh, stored my keys API key, uh, API underscore key, and request underscore uh, ID. I store in those variables. After that, uh, now you may have the question ki hum jo uh, we are so we are going to calculate the we are going to get the uh, longitude and latitude of a source and the destination and we are put it into the geo uh, geo by distance so uh, in source id source uh, longitude latitude and distance longitude latitude dk uh, we are going to calculate the distance between two two locations so first of all i'm going to explain the cart cartographers and geographers trace horizontal and vertical line called longitude, uh, latitude and longitude across a surface to locate the point on the globe. So exactly what is this is the line of uh, latitude and this is the line of longitude which is covered by our earth and one is vertical and horizontal. Horizontal is like uh, latitude and vertical is a longitude. So this has been told here. Okay, so um, on those basis, uh, hum se longitude and latitude pe khade hai, uh, we got to know ki, Basically, a geography mein aata hai, but I'm not going to uh, go into deep. So I have created one uh, function over here, gate coordinates. In gate coordinates, we are passing the address. Uh, so uh, what is API? API is application program interface. Uh, in the earlier section, uh, I mean, uh, in the beginning, I have already explained what is API in uh, nutshell. So uh, basically, we have we have a URL. So I have mentioned that we are going to use the geo code. So if you if you want to know ki maine ye kaha se liya hai, to you just need to go on geo code. And you can take from here HTTP API API, and you just need to copy here. Okay, so basically, what I'm passing here, though, you have to understand what is the header, what is the request, all all those things you will get to know. Okay, so I have taken that, and I'm passing address is equal to address. Address is passing from this function. So I'll uh, I'm going to explain that we are passing the address. We are giving the address. So I'm passing the address, and my API key is stored into API key. Now I have given the URL. After giving the URL, I need to uh, so as I mentioned, the URL pe se, ya us website say I need some data that uh, from that data I'm I'm finding my latitude and longitude for that source location. So in the response, I'll get a request.gate and I'm passing my URL. So it will go into Ola map for a specific location uh, by using my API key. Uh, and then header is given as a request.id. So jo ID hai, wo ek header ke form mein diya hai. It is in the structure of ये structure के form में होता है, so that it it will get from that URL in that structure only. so हमें response मिलता है, नहीं मिलता है. if our response is uh, 200 means for for a successful transaction we get the 200. so I'll just uh, let me go to here. so here is uh, some if you if you if you know geek for geeks they have written the HTTP response code. so if you see 100 
कंटिन्यू मीन्स रीडिंग द रीडिंग फॉर क्लाइंट कंटिन्यू ऑल दोज कोर्स हैव गिवन एंड विद डिस्क्रिप्शन सो टू हंड्रेड इज ओके फॉर सक्सेसफुल ट्रांजेक्शन एंड फोर जीरो वन इफ यू गॉट द फोर जीरो वन मीन्स फोर जीरो फोर हंड्रेड मीन्स बैड रिक्वेस्ट और फोर हंड्रेड एंड वन मीन्स अनऑथोराइज यू डोंट हैव द पासवर्ड एंड यूजर नेम फॉर दैट और यू डोंट हैव ऑथोरिटी फॉर दैट कनेक्शन सो यू कैन गेट ऑल द कोर्स इफ सो uh for checking code you just need to read uh, right response dot uh, response dot status dot code and if your uh, code code match with uh, 200 uh, this if condition will be true and it will uh, then we we will take the uh, data from that response response dot json we get the data we have stored into the data variable so what is json json is nothing but a javascript object notation so it is basically a dictionary form mein jaise hum hota hai na keys and value us pe us pair mein yahan pe bhi uh, data store hota hai and we have taken that data into data variable after getting the data in the data variable we have again uh, write one one more filter over there is geo coding result is in my data if there is a geo code result in the data वो चेक कर रहा है एंड द लेंथ ऑफ द डेटा इट्स टेकिंग इफ इट इज ग्रेटर देन वन एंड द जियो कोडिंग इज अवेलेबल इन द डेटा इफ दिस इज अवेलेबल देन वॉट इट डज फर्स्ट फर्स्ट रिजल्ट सो क्या करता है इट विल गेट द फर्स्ट इंडेक्स ऑफ जियो कोडिंग रिजल्ट एंड देन इट विल स्टोर इन टू फर्स्ट रिजल्ट देन फर्स्ट रिजल्ट हम वी आर टेकिंग द जियोमेट्री जियोमेट्री एंड वी आर स्टोरिंग इन टू जियोमेट्री अगेन फ्रॉम जियोमेट्री वी आर टेकिंग द लोकेशन फ्रॉम द लोकेशन वी आर गेटिंग द लैट एंड वी आर स्टोरिंग इन टू द लैटिट्यूड एंड द लॉन्गिट्यूड Uh, LNG and latitude LED. So we are storing and we are writing this function. Okay. And if we are not getting the uh, code is equal to two two hundred, then it will return the none value. Okay. Same. We have done for. Uh, so this is the this is the code I have written. This is the function we are using in our uh, in 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 the below below code. So you can see. Uh, then we have uh, app dot route and we has we don't have the much pages we only render on the sing, uh, single page and we are using the gate and post we are reading and writing some data over there on that uh, api so you you will going to see what i'm trying to write and what i'm trying to read from that so i have created the function called index and index i have uh, i have i have taken the one variable called destination and destination is uh, i have store at, uh, is equal to none so i have given the value none over there you can write zero or none because uh, the destination is a int value you can just to uh, take as a zero or none also so after that what i have done if is if a uh, request a uh, request dot method is equal to post means i am writing something not reading i am writing something so if it is a i am writing then uh, the method is post then it will take the request dot form source i am giving the source over there and i am taking the destination from my form i have created one form over there and and i am giving the source destination source uh, source location and destination location and i am storing into the source address and destination address after that what i am trying to do gate coordinate what uh, the function we have created here i am putting here uh, and i am passing the source address and storing the source latitude and source longitude and again i am passing the same function and passing the destination address over there and storing the destination latitude and destination uh, longitude once i got those value what i'm trying to do uh, if the source source latitude is not none and the destination uh, latitude is not not none means both the values are not none then and then uh, i'm going to into the this um, uh, Uh, this uh, function okay or oh, this if condition so uh, once we have the source source co uh, coordinate we are uh, calculating the source coordinate for that i am passing the uh, source la uh, latitude and longitude to get the source coordinate and destination 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 co coordinate i am passing the source uh, destination latitude and longitude uh, so it will store into the uh, destination coordinates after that i am taking the grid circle which is uh, taken from the geo geo by destination and uh, grid grid circle is nothing but calculating the uh, distance between two two uh, two coordinates so i am passing the source coordinate and destination coordinate and dot kilometer so it will calculate into the kilometer and it is stored into the destination okay and after that it return the render template templex uh, index uh, uh, html and distance is equal to distance and storing uh, passing my dist uh, dist uh, distance value into the distance over and this is the This is the code I have written. You can, uh, you can. I'm going to show the Git, GitHub, uh, my GitHub uh, link in the description, so you can uh, check that the code and you can just uh, copy that code or fork fork over there. And I'll, I'll also pa uh, send all the HTML code. So this is the code I have written, and what it does, me explain करने से पहले. I'll just run run this. I'll just. So let's see. Uh, I'll just copy. and we'll come back to here and i'll try to get into this 
सो अल राइट पुणे पुणे टू मुंबई का डिस्टेंस uh, कितना होता है ये कैलकुलेट करने के लिए हमने बनाया सो दिस इज द ए पी आई क्रिएटेड डिस्टेंस कैलकुलेटर एंड आई हैव गिवन द सोर्स एड्रेस एंड डेस्टिनेशन एड्रेस सो इट कैलकुलेटेड डिस्टेंस इज इक्वल डिस्टेंस इज वन वन हंड्रेड एंड वन हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू किलोमीटर आई कैन से वन हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी टू किलोमीटर इन एक्चुअल इट इज ग्रेटर दैन दैट सो इफ आई कम हियर पुणे टू मुंबई डिस्टेंस सॉरी so the distance is greater than that so 155 and i'm calculating 122 the reason is it is taking the distance uh, ye jo distance le raha hai ye may be pune ka dead jo end hai wahan se dis, uh, distance le raha hai ya kaise kaam kar raha hai mujhe nahi pata actual mein abhi tak mujhe full jankari nahi ki ye uh, api kaise work kar raha hai but i have taken the uh, taken the uh, taken the value from the uh, ola api only so this is how it work uh, we'll take one more value we'll take uh, mumbai Mumbai to Kolkata, okay? Mumbai and Kolkata, and try to calculate that. Let's say what we got. So we got the uh, 16, uh, 651. So let's check that. I think तो सेम ही आना चाहिए या थोड़ा फार्ट तो डिफरेंस आएगा आएगा Mumbai to Kolkata. distance let's see what we got so the distance is 1900 km and we are getting around 1650 it is showing some i don't know why it is showing that but i have used the same api which provided by ola map but i can say it will uh, uh, very soon maybe we'll get a same value or uh, but i have taken the longitude and latitude which may, uh, given by the api only so i think so it should work properly in upcoming day or it is giving the right value if it is using the dead end of the pune city and uh, i don't know how it is taking that but this is how it works and you can create the same 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 thing with your by using the same code i have so we have done all those things all those four point you see we have completed all those form so we have integrated the ola map api using the python and i have given the um, so i'll i'll share all those all those links and all uh, github and the code with you guys so stay tuned or uh, share with your friend like share and subscribe and thank you for watching this video see you soon